the last thing that I'll say about it is that uh, it's going to be more allowing and in the physical practice, it's a balance between effort and surrender. Today's practice is going to be all about allowing and inviting the breath in. Okay, I recommend a little pillow underneath your head. So we're just going to lie down and open up the palms at the side. So each pranayama practice, in my opinion, should have a dedicated grounding at the beginning and then a cooling off and regrounding at the end. We're about to allow ourselves to receive in greater quantity this universal energy, this life force energy we're going to allow it to move through us. So we're just preparing for that. Approaching with humility and reverence. And fully surrendering. Now because of the asana work that you're doing, you're starting to gain more elasticity in your intercostals, the muscles in between your rib cage, from all the bending and twisting that we do and stretching, so that you can get better movement of your diaphragm, which is your breath pump, your prana pump. So one thing I want you to feel as you're relaxing here, can you feel the side ribs expanding on your in-breath? As if I tied a strap across your bottom ribs, which is a great practice to practice. And you could expand into the whole 360 degrees of that imaginary strap. And then as you exhale, you'll feel naturally the rib cage draw back in and down. So I want you to allow and relax so that more and more breath can come in. You're not trying to pull it. You're allowing the ribs to open up and expand so that the breath comes in. And if you can pause for a second or two before you let the breath out. And pause maybe for a second before the breath is invited back in. Just like that, we're practicing.